with three straight losses to open the season, things are already starting to look bleak. Our schedule isn't getting any easier. I'm really starting to get desperate. For the first time in my managerial career, I decided to reach out for help. Hello? Hey, is this uh, Coach Coral? Uh, yeah. Hey man, it's Grant Hillman, manager of the Mighty Monsters. You might have heard about me last season. Uh, I didn't play against your team, but uh, I was manager of the Devil Rays. We won the title, uh-huh. you know, 21-0, and immaculate season, greatest team in the history of the Backyard Baseball League. <laughs> yeah, I- I'm tooting my own horn a little too much. Listen, man, as you probably know already, I-, I got transferred to the Monsters this year, and I'm having a really tough time with my players. You're someone I've followed for a long time, and I admire what you've been able to do as a manager. You've battled through so much adversity with poor performances, players acting up, and you've still won multiple rings. Just, I don't know. Do you have any advice for what I can do moving forward? (laughs) (laughs) Have fun going 0-14, loser! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Backyard Baseball 2003 Worst Possible Team Season Playthrough. And y'all, we've got a big time matchup here today. I, Coach Grant, have been banished to a new horrible team. I have been removed from the team that I built and took all the way to the BBL World Series. We completed our immaculate season and today with my new team 0 and 3 on the season, we are facing my old team, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays and they are 3 and 0 on the season so far. Imagine the headlines. If we can somehow pull off this victory but some dire changes are needed in our last game against the oakland a's there were some major major issues we lost three to zero but in my opinion that was a very winnable game or it should have been a winnable game that was not a super stacked roster by any means i don't even think they outplayed us we were just horrible on defense and a big reason for that was because of our third baseman in that game wayne Hitman. He was a liability all game long, as was Dana Sakula, who played shortstop in our first two games. Cameron Haynes in left field also had some drops, some very crucial drops. All three runs that the A's scored in last week's game, in my opinion, were avoidable. All undeserved, unearned runs that came off errors. We should have played much better last week. And because of that, there will be some major lineup changes. I had Heidi Thurman at catcher because she's got by far the best arm on the team y'all saw that in uh, game two against the yankees she had some great great throws and i put her at catcher because i figure well she's got the best arm if our opponent tries to steal a base she could easily throw him out but as was proven last week you need a good arm at third base because if your third baseman cannot make crucial plays in the field you're gonna allow easy easy base runners off errors all game long so heidi thurman who's got a boost to three batting and seven fielding today she's gonna be back at third base we're moving wayne back to catcher he does not have a great arm but i figure better to have a liability at catcher than a liability at third base we are also moving dana uh her arm is not as good as i would have thought we are moving her to second base but y'all here is where the biggest change is happening i really hate to do this this is just experimental We're going to see how this goes. Victoria Schamberg is going to be in center field because like Cameron Haynes, she is six out of 10 at running. Then we are going to move Claire Nelson to pitcher and Thor Herring will be our starting shortstop today. Now this hurts Thor Herring at the moment has 20 strikeouts on the season. He is the league leader in strikeouts at the moment. And he's been pitching pretty well this season. He's got 3.37 ERA. A lot of the runs that have been scored against us are not really his fault. But here's the thing. 
Claire Nelson is also 6 out of 10 at pitching. I don't know what her best pitches are. I don't know what her stamina is like. I have actually never, ever pitched with her before this game. But for convenience sake, let's pretend that she's basically identical to Thor Herring as far as skills go. She's also 6 out of 10. Thor Herring has an excellent, excellent arm. He is slow, only 1 out of 10 at speed, but he's got a great arm and could make some plays at uh, shortstop throwing to Ivan King on infield hits. He's already proven to be very valuable in defending against infield hits, and that is why I am worried a bit about Claire Nelson at pitcher. She does not have a very good arm at all. She is slightly faster than Thor Herring. She is four out of 10 at running instead of just one. Uh, however, that's still pretty slow, and so that is my worry going into this, is that she will not be able to defend as well against the infield hits, and so if that's a problem, we will put Thor back on the mound. But again, this is experimental. Thor does have a very good arm. That is why we're making this adjustment in this game, because last week we allowed way, way, way too many infield hits that should have been easy outs to get past us that led to base runners and errors and the A's scoring run that they should not have scored. So I want to defend the left side of the field as much as possible against hits uh, in this game, because our opponent is built for speed and they are gonna hit all over us as y'all can probably predict. So let's jump into this game. Uh, third home game of the season facing my old Devil Rays. Same roster as before. Their lineup has been altered a little bit. I don't know what their new manager is doing, but uh, they're still locked and loaded. Lineup still looking as dangerous as ever. Let's see how our new lineup adjustments uh, work out. All right, leadoff batter Keisha Phillips batting 250 on the season so far. And let's look at Claire's pitches. All right, so her heat's not that great. Slow ball is decent. Left hook is pretty solid. Right hook is solid. So she actually has some similar stats to Thor in terms of what her best pitches are. Let's see how it goes. And she is a righty instead of a lefty. We'll see how that uh, works out as well. I think Thor being a lefty was definitely an advantage over a lot of other hitters. Oh, man. And that's going into the outfield. Cameron and Victoria. Oh, that gets past them. Ground rule double right out of the gate for Keisha Phillips. Yikes. And it does not get easier. Ichiro also batting 250 on the season. And he goes with a bunt. Good strategy. Claire Nelson. There we go. That's a good throw right there. I was worried a bit about her arm. That was a pretty good throw there. All right. Keisha is at third, but we got one out. Ahmed Khan just 2-2-2 two, two, two on the season. And looking at the stats last week, at the end of last week's episode, we looked over the Devil Ray stats a bit. The biggest power hitters on the Devil Rays, Ken Griffey Jr., Pablo Sanchez, Ahmed Khan, have not hit any home runs so far. Ooh, and that is uh, gonna that's gonna be his first home run of the season. All right, Claire's not off to a good start at all. This is really bad. That was just really bad. I noticed that her pitches are losing accuracy faster than Thor's do, so that is one thing to take note of. Stamina looks to be slightly worse as well. Yikes. All right, wow. Horrible, horrible at bat for King Griffey Jr. He was way out in front of those. She strikes out. Claire Nelson strikes out King Griffey Jr. on three pitches, so a decent comeback there, but that doesn't help us being down 2-0, man. All right, Pete Wheeler. Right to Claire. All right, should be an easy play. All right, out number three. Already down 2-0. Randy Johnson. Uh, starting pitcher, but we looked at the Devil Rays stats at the end of last episode, as I already said, and even though Randy Johnson is the starting pitcher, Amir Khan has been getting way more action on the mound for the Devil Rays recently. I don't know why that is, but, uh, Randy Johnson, not even close to the strikeout pace that he was on last year for us. Oh, that was a great curveball. Victoria Schamberg goes down in five pitches. Cameron Haynes with the soft fly. Why were they backed up that far? Doesn't make a difference, but did they think that Cameron Haynes was going to like smack a line drive or something like that? They were backed up for him. No, nope, sorry to burst your bubble. We can't really hit on this team. Oof. All right. Amir Khan, not the best catcher, but good enough there. Pablo Sanchez with the error. We got a base runner. Y'all, that might be a secret ticket right there. Pablo Sanchez, for whatever reason, is playing first base. Anyone who plays this game a lot knows that Pablo is very prone to fielding errors. And with Nomar at shortstop, with that rocket arm of his, we'll see what happens. Dana Sakula. 
That's in a good position, but Pete's going to make that easy play. All right, out number three. Quick inning. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Fly ball. Can Quentin get there? That's a ground rule double for Randy Johnson. Oh, my gosh. Quentin does not get tested a lot. Randy Johnson hits a fly to the opposite field. My goodness. Strike out on three pitches. So Claire Nelson has struck out Pablo Sanchez and Ken Griffey Jr. on three pitches each. Crazy. Remember that Amir has the boost. Ooh, that will be very close. That was not a good pitch by yours truly. Can Cameron get this? Dude, he was on the red dot. And uh, Randy's going to get home. Unreal. Unreal. We get Amir out, but that's a, that's a run. 3-0. I mean, y'all might be screaming at me to get uh, Cameron Haynes out of left field because he's made so many errors, but I mean, he and Victoria have the best speed, so who, who else am I going to put in the outfield, really? All right, Heidi, make this throw. There we go. Good stuff. All right. That's why we have our third base. Because seriously, in the last game, Wayne Pittman would not have been able to make that play. That would have been a hit for Nomar. So at least we cleaned that up. Thor Herring. Keisha's going to get that easily. Oop. It's like every time I go for a power-up pitch in this series so far, they've always been out of the zone. It's like I have to go for them because pretty much the only way we can get hits with this team is for power-ups, right? But, like, they're always unhittable. Easy play. Randy Johnson is going to flip this to Pablo. Out number two. Wayne Pittman currently with the highest batting average on the team. Batting a good-looking 4-2-8, and that's going to fall a bit after this. Easy, easy inning for the Devil Rays. <sighs> All right, Thor, not... <sighs> that That's just our curse. <laughs> we just have no speed. Any decent shortstop would have been there. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking of putting Thor back. Um, oh my gosh, look how slow we are. Gosh. It's like, what can you do? There's just, there's just nothing we can do. In my assessment so far of Claire, she definitely has slightly worse stamina. Her pitches uh, run out of accuracy faster. Cameron Haynes, dude. Oh my gosh. I, I, I need to find out who's got the best catching rating and just put them over there. That wasn't out? How did Heidi not make that tag? Are you kidding me? All right, Del Rey's got two more runs, 5-0. Unbelievable. As I was saying, I think I'm just going to find out who has the best catching stat and put them over in left field because Cameron Haynes is just such a liability. Unreal. This is just really bad. All right, if Claire allows any more runs, she is gone. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't want to be too harsh on her, but this is, this is really bad so far. Because with Thor, it's like, no matter how low his stamina is, his slow ball stays accurate no matter what. So it's like, at the very least, he has that to rely on, whereas Claire, just so far, nothing doing. All right, second strikeout on Ken Griffey Jr. Pretty much meaningless, though. So now we're going to put Thor at pitcher. Decent tries, Claire. We're going to move her back to center field because, to be honest, she's slow, got a bad arm, but center field is not getting tested near as much as left field is. We got, we got to figure out what to do about Cameron Haynes. And then we're going to have Victoria Schamberg at shortstop because, at the very least, she's got speed. Thor back on the mound. And he lost some stamina due to the spill he took, but, I mean, he'll be fine. It's just too easy. Thor's slow ball is just unstoppable. Not completely unstoppable. People have hit home runs off it before, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just... I can always fall back on that with Thor, whereas Claire Nelson does not really have a particularly strong pitch. Oh my gosh, it's going to be an RBI for Randy Johnson. Oh no, it's not. That was out number three. Okay, good. All right. Well... They have scored in every inning so far, 5-2-0. This is already the most runs that have been scored against us this season. Quentin Driver has a decrease. He's got a hit and decrease, not much that he can get worse at. Jeez. What, what, what do you guys think he's uh, got a decrease at? Quentin Driver. Easy, easy out. 
Ivan King puts it on the ground. Pablo's going to have to go get it. He'll make the play himself. Two outs. Victoria Schamberg down the line. Ooh. I mean, Ichiro might have thrown her out, but that had a potential to be an actual hit. Ugh. That was just a great curveball. Totally baited me into swinging it. Classic. Classic Randy Johnson. Ooh, that is a rocket up the middle by Pablo. Claire. As I was saying, oh, we don't get tested in center field a lot. Well, he's going to go for that. Dana, make that throw nowhere near in time. Triple for Pablo. Strike on number two for Thor. Let's see if he can defend against this and put up a zero. Infield hit, Thor. Let's throw him out. Can we get a double play? Can we get a double play? Yes! Double play. Let's go. All right, let's go, baby. Double play down 5-0. Can we at least put up some runs? Can we at least put up a fight? Let's see what this is. Crazy bunt with Cameron Haynes. We'll go for this. He's one of the faster players. Usually, I don't like to have power-ups until we have runners on base, but we got to go for it. I'll just be a single. It's a hit, though. I have the feeling that it'll only be a single usage. I actually wonder if power-up usage is weighted by how good the team is. See, it disappeared. Because I've played lots of games with similar lineups. And for whatever reason, teams that are this bad rarely get power-up chains. Heidi Thurman, though. Oh, this is double play written all over it. Yikes. Now they got a double play. <sighs> we, we just can't have anything, man. We just can't have anything good. This is just so bad, dude. Whatever, at least we can say that uh, Randy Johnson didn't get a no-hitter on us. Ooh! Dana! Oh, man. Pablo's going to get that. Jeez. Imagine if Dana hit a dinger off a of Randy Johnson elevator pitch. Hilarious. Three outs. All right, I hate to say it, but I, I am worried that the Claire Nelson experiment... Uh, already has a knife in it that just did not work very well i think that thor is clearly the better pitcher of the two and we just got to figure out something on defense because we just cannot keep playing like this please get over there dana dude she just completely missed it why did oh this is going to be an inside the park home run gosh this is this is just so bad how is it that i I get the red circle and it just flies over their head like that. When the circle is small, it means that they have good vision, but when I had the red circle just got over her head. Horrible. 6-0 now. And that's the first run allowed by Thor Herring, but he didn't really allow that. That's just not his fault whatsoever. This is just bad. Ichiro puts it on the ground. D Dana, come look at the angle she took on that. She literally took the wrong angle. Ichiro's going to go for a second. He's going to make it. <sighs> Ahmed's been having himself a day, hasn't he? Home run and a triple. Strikeout. Third on the day for Thor Herring. At least his strikeout count keeps on going up. At least he's still the league leader, right? Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. He's going to use the crazy bunt. That's going to be one run. 7-0 now. Dana, throw him out. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Dana is just bad. We're going to let Pete have that. Gosh, it's like Dana and Cameron Haynes are just by far the worst. I thought that moving Dana from shortstop to second base would at least take some heat off her. She's been challenged way more and has been making way more horrible plays at second base. And they got another crazy bunt. This is going to score at least one more. Probably two because it's Pete Wheeler. Dude! That is some cheese. We only get one crazy bunt, yet they get a freaking crazy bunt ground rule double with Randy Johnson. This is just so stupid, dude. Total cheese. Strikeout on four pitches. Pablo goes down. That is a pop fly. Can we actually make a play? Make throw. Dude, are you kidding me? 10-0. Make the freaking tag. That's like the second should be out where there's just been a missed tag. 
This is this is actually embarrassing. Now you guys know what I'm working with. I think the first few games we managed to keep the runs down a little bit. This is like the first disaster game that we've had. Because truth be told, our first three losses, none of them are horrible. But like this is this is pretty bad. Another strikeout. That's the only way we're getting out, is strikeouts. That's basically it. It really is like, unless Thor Herring throws a perfect game and we have no base runners, we just have no hope of preventing the other team from eventually scoring runs. And then, of course, we can't play from behind, because unless we get a ton of lucky errors or power-ups, we just cannot score runs. It's just impossible. <laughs> Randy Johnson curveball. Nothing you can do. Randy going for the complete game here. He has not had one all season, clearly, with Amir Khan getting lots of action, but he's going for one now. Claire Nelson up the middle. E easy out after easy out after easy out. We're not even making it remotely difficult for them. Wayne Pittman. Pablo's going to take care of that all by himself. Out number three. Five scoreless innings. Keisha just needs a triple for the cycle. Oh my gosh, she decimates that. 11-0. What do we do, guys? What what do we do? Luckily, this is the most stacked team we're playing all year, probably. But what do we do? What can we do? It's only game four, by the way. There's 14 games in the season. Woo! Ichiro. Line drive, right to Dana. Dude, Dana is so bad. She's really bad. Thor, make that play. Alright. Ichiro gets to third, but we got one out. Strikeout number three on the day for Ken Griffey Jr. Hat trick strikeouts. So at least one of the Devil Rays players is not having a good day. Pete Wheeler smacks that. That's probably going to go off the Titan Tron. No, it's not. Claire gets it off the bounce, but that's an RBI. Oh, Peace can go home. We got him. Out number three. 12-0. All right, guys, how are we going to score 13 runs here? Randy Johnson fastball. Low inside corner. Nothing you can do. Ivan King. Nothing. Pablo drops it. Still tags up. Victoria Schamberg hits that right to Randy Johnson. Flips it to Pablo. Easy out. And we get destroyed. 12 to 0. Devil Rays looking like they did last year when I was at the helm. <sighs> Horrifying game for us. Horrifying. The only hit we had came off Cameron Haynes with a crazy bunt, so at least we can say that Randy Johnson did not get a no-hitter on us. Pitching-wise, uh, the Claire Nelson experiment, I was hopeful coming in. It ended up being uh, a pretty bad show. Uh, Thor ended up allowing more runs in the end, or he got more runs scored on him while he was in the game. Not all the runs were earned, of course, a ton came off errors as usual, but Claire Nelson was definitely more inconsistent in my opinion. I think that Thor just has more accurate pitches. Uh, he's just got better stamina in general, so I do think that he will be our pitcher moving forward, but I really, we really do need to figure out what the heck to do on defense because Dana was atrocious. Cameron Haynes continued to drop easy fly outs. We just cannot continue playing like this because we truly have no hope if our defense cannot get it together and we continue playing so horribly on offense. Next week is our third straight home game, game five of the season, and our opponents are the Wombats. And they've got Sammy Sosa at third base. Luan Louis at pitcher, star moonbeam at catcher, check out that speed, my goodness. They've got Susan Gore, the Ichiro clone, in a right field. Thankfully, she has massive reduction today. I mean, she would be horrible. She would be terrifying otherwise. But yeah, man, pretty solid Wombats team here. <sighs> I'm open to suggestions, guys. We just got to figure something out because nothing is working so far. 
I hope you guys are enjoying anyway. Maybe you guys are getting a really uh, sick sort of pleasure out of watching me take all of these L's after we went undefeated last year, but I don't know. The fun's starting to run out a little bit. You know, I want to I at least have some success, but anyway, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Oh.